I have a kitten that has uh, proved very problematic to vacuums. Uh, her hair is like cotton and gets uh, embedded in the carpet and it's a big challenge for a lot of vacuums. The Crosswave used to be able to clean this uh, carpet easily but uh, no longer and uh, yeah I tried a different hand vacuum and even uh, with the Dyson V8 it was uh, a tough it is a tough job so I want to show you how it does cleaning up this uh, very dirty carpet uh, a normal lead it's dirty this way and uh, yeah i want to try it first uh, the way you uh, it can do this carpet and uh, after cleaning this carpet i want to see how the cheaper bissell power force compact uh, how much it will pick up after this uh, 800 dollar vacuum but first, uh, let's do this in uh, normal power mode. And uh, then you transition to the maximum power on the V8 to get this really well cleaned. So let's start. It's done an adequate job so far. The I got the carpet motorized head on. It's uh, we'll see. Let's put it in speed mode and come back. I vacuumed uh, in normal power mode and uh, it's okay clean but uh, there's still plenty of crumbs and a lot of stray hairs. Now I want to do it in uh, power mode, maximum power mode and uh, get more of this cleaned. So I went through this carpet uh, using the normal standard procedure for the Dyson V8 first in normal power mode and then uh, in uh, maximum power mode and this looks really neat so one turn in each mode and uh, it looks clean there's still a bit dust on it I wanna see how well how much it the power force will compact will pick up after the dyson v8 and maximum power 
And uh, from what uh, experience tells me, I'm willing to bet it will pick up some quite a bit because, uh, I don't know, the Power Force Compact, Bissell Power Force Compact, can uh, pick up a lot of dust that, that's invis invisible. But first, let's see how much dust... Uh, uh, we'll see later how much dust uh, each vacuum accumulated in the dustbin, but uh, let's give the compact power force a try now. Before proceeding, let me just mention that the Dyson V8 is a pleasure to use and no handheld vacuum can pierce to it, its power. And now look at the dustbin, it's empty, very empty. Let's uh, see what the power, Bissell Power Force Compact can pick up after the V8. <laughs> So, so far the sign is good, it's uh, not much going in the dustbin after the V8, it's, uh, yeah, we'll see how much arterial vacuuming will give us. So it does uh, look like a tiny bit of dust is coming off with the power force compact, but not much, just a very tiny bit. I'll show you, you can notice it when it's turned on. <laughs> And uh, it does, the carpet does look a little cleaner after the Power Force Compact went to, over it. Uh, now let's see the dirt, but uh, yeah, the V8, Dyson V8 did a pretty good job, excellent job, apparently. And uh, yeah, it's uh, adequate just by itself. Next uh, video, I'll try doing it via the reverse, first the Power Force Compact, then the V8. Now let's see the kind of dirt it uh, gave us both vacuums. The V8 should have given us a ton of dirt. Now just pull this top lever and it will open from the bottom. It's the V8, much less than I expected. A lot of dust blown in my face. Anyways, now the Power Force Compact. Okay, this is what we get from the Power Force Compact. Just a tiny bit, so. The V8 did better than I expected, much better than I expected. Did an adequate job. 
it provided comfort and ease of use but uh, it takes has a lar long charging time of five hours while uh, the V8 is really I mean the power force is really uh, has a short cord and uh, is really loud and that's the only cons between them well anyways thanks for watching and uh, look for my next video of these two vacuums to close the Dyson V8 first you push the top down and then just shut the lid of the third canister and that's it can be tricky the first time you use it